So the other day I was at work, right? And I was like, man, working a full time job and doing YouTube at the same time is very difficult. And if you guys didn't know already, I work as a bus driver in the UK. I've been trying to do content for a long time now, but I was just sort of stuck in that place of like, man, it's so hard to get content out there. How do I get all the scripts ready? How do I do the thumbnails? How do I record all these videos in one go? Or how do I manage my time and stuff? And then luckily I had like 10, 20 minutes of like, we call it stand time where we rest. And I was like, okay, let me take my, uh, let me check what's on YouTube. So I uh, take out my phone and the first video that I see is from Ali Abdal. It was along the lines of, oh, um, what would I do if I was working full time and wanted to start a YouTube channel? It was literally released about like four minutes ago or something like that. And I was like, okay, I'm going to watch this video. I'm going to watch a bit of it now and I'll finish it off later. So I started watching a bit of it and it was literally the perfect video for me to watch, right? So I've clicked on the video now and you know, I'm watching a bit of it for the time that I've got on my stand time. And then I finished off the video later on. So when I finished work, I was like, okay, I'm gonna finish this video video off because I found it quite valuable. I watched about 10 minutes of the video and then there was a bit like, I think 10, 15 minutes left. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna finish the video off later on. So when I finished the video off, I was like, man, this video was so valuable. I would like to share this information with other people as well, because I know a lot of people who are in my shoes and would really appreciate it. Maybe if I shared this video with them or shared the knowledge that I learned from that video. So in this video, I wanted to teach you guys everything that I learned from that video. So here is everything that I learned from Ali Abdal's video of how to become a YouTuber while working a full time job. So in that video, he was basically coaching someone who needed help from Ali Abdal. So this person was working as a vet from 10 to 6 p.m. and later on after 6 p.m. they used to do private cases. So they were in a situation where they were very busy at work and they also wanted to start a YouTube channel. So when I heard this person's story, I was like, you know what, I can definitely relate to this. When I work as a bus driver, I work about nine, 10 hours sometimes, and it takes a lot of my day. And like I said earlier, I struggle a lot with like finding the time to do all these videos and whatnot. So number one, the first thing Ali Abdal mentioned in that video was, if you're starting YouTube, don't do it for money. So the person that he was helping out in that video, they were obviously a vet and they wanted to teach other people who are trying to maybe get into that industry or trying to learn how to treat animals and stuff. They basically wanted to start a YouTube channel around that topic, but they wanted to do it so they could make more money um, or they could make extra income from doing YouTube. So the first thing Ali Abdal recommended was if you're going to start YouTube, just know it's a long, long process. And also it's way harder to sell B2C, which is business to customer, than to B2. So what he was essentially explaining was, if you have like a skill or a product or whatever, you're better off offering it to businesses than to customers, because it's a lot harder to sell to customers than businesses, because businesses usually have more money and customers don't usually have more money and also with customers you need to build that trust and whatnot and you need to upload a certain amount of times to really get their trust and then they will eventually buy from you whereas with businesses if you offer them a service or a product that they genuinely find valuable they will eventually buy from you so that was number one don't come onto youtube to just make money jump onto youtube if you genuinely want to provide in a field that you're very good at and yeah it's just a lot better to sell to businesses than selling to customers. So that's the first lesson that I learned because I've always wanted to do YouTube to make money, to make like extra income. Who doesn't? Everybody wants to leave their current job and then make money online and stuff. So this is something that I've always wanted to do as well. But I was like, no, I'm going to target value first, give people a lot of value, then eventually sell to my audience to the one person who want my help and who want my guidance and whatnot or whoever wants to buy the product that I release. By the way, if you ever see me looking down, I'm just looking at my laptop to see the notes that I've taken from that video. Uh, I just want to let you guys know why I might be looking down. So the next point I've got is, you need to have the right mindset if you're gonna go onto YouTube. What he means by that is, 
lower your expectations so it's easier to sustain so if you go onto youtube thinking oh i need to have million subscribers by the end of the year you're putting a lot of pressure on yourself to get to that level whereas if you say you know what i'm gonna just upload once a week and just see where youtube takes me that's a lot better it's a lot easier to sustain it's a lot easier to manage and it means you have better mental health and whatnot you're not feeling anxious you're not feeling overwhelmed you're not feeling burnt out so which means your video quality will also be good the next point i did note down which i already mentioned was treat youtube for long term and not for short term especially if you're like myself you're putting your face out there you're building a personal brand you want to do it for the long term and not just for the short term so just remember it's always value to people first then just thinking about your own short-term gains of just making like money that like extra money and whatnot and i'm not saying um there's anything wrong with making money i think everybody should want to make money just know it's not going to come as quickly as you think and you will take a long time for you to build your channel and then eventually start making money so go with the right mindset and then the last point i've got written here is the person that he was coaching he had very limited time which is usually everybody's biggest like problem when it comes to youtube because it does take a lot of time to you know find the video ideas then you have to script the ideas then you have to record the ideas then you have to make a good enough thumbnail and then obviously uploading it so yeah it, there's a lot behind making youtube videos so this is what ali abdal recommended to the person when they spoke about them having very limited time during the days so one of the first thing ali abdal recommended was create videos around topics that you are already good at especially if you're working a full-time job and you know you're trying to build a youtube channel you you're not really going to get the time to do like deep research into a field that you're very new at so it's better to create videos around things that you're already good at i don't know maybe in the last few months you managed to lose weight or maybe put on weight so you know you're bulking up or you're doing really well in fitness and you're thinking to yourself you know what i managed to do this while working a full-time job so why not teach something that you're already good at while you're working your full-time job or you might be really good at a skill maybe you're very good at helping instagram pages grow and whatnot and this is something that you was just doing for fun on the side and you're like you know what now i don't mind creating content around that topic because i already know about that topic so it makes it very easy for you to not have to you know think so deep about the youtube video ideas and also the script writing and then the um recording because it, because you're already used to that field you would know what to talk about and you would just be more of a flow for you so to wrap that up create videos around things that you're already good at and you're doing well in or create videos around something that you're currently learning and you don't mind making videos around that so it makes it easier for you to create videos then the next thing Ali Abdal recommended was to batch record your videos so in that video the person that he was coaching they were obviously working Monday to Friday so what Ali Abdal recommended to this person was so you know you're working Monday to Friday you're going to be very tired you're going to have like cooking to do cleaning to do when you come home and stuff either pick a weekend throughout the whole month where you you know on your calendar or something tell yourself okay this weekend i'm just gonna record videos and when you record your videos record at least three four five videos in one go so then you can schedule it for the rest of the month so now you know okay i don't have to worry about all these videos now for the next month and then until the next month comes i can worry about you know recording again another four or five videos so it's a lot better to batch record videos than to do you know one video at a time or you know do the script writing do the video then upload it then do another script then write it uh, sorry then record it then upload it again which means also doing your script writing in batches and then maybe even doing your thumbnails in batches as well just doing a lot of work in one go is a lot better than you know doing multiple different things at different times and the biggest reason why he recommends this is because when he was a full-time doctor and you know he was trying to do youtube at the same time he realized that you know setting up your camera setting up your microphone and stuff it takes a lot of your time so it's a lot better to just record a lot of these videos and then upload them later on then the next thing he highly recommends as well which he massively regrets is not hiring a video editor sooner because in that video he basically explained this 
uh, concept of with money you can genuinely save time what he means by that is let's say obviously you're making videos and stuff you can either go ahead and edit yourself which means you're losing your own time or you can go ahead and pay someone else which means you're saving time but you're spending money so he does recommend hiring a video editor but if you're in a situation where you can't hire an editor then he recommends you know using a simple software and just going ahead with that and just doing simple edits instead of you know hyper editing edits like Iman Qazi or like even Ali Abdal edits and whatnot it's just too much and it's going to take too much of your time so it's a lot better to just keep it simple and just give people as much value as possible the last thing i took away from his video was when you're working your day job you're always going to have like 10 20 minutes to spare where you know you might just be scrolling on social media or just watching a youtube video in that time try and make use of it um, write your scripts maybe maybe just have like thumbnail ideas or just video ideas ready for you to create later on um, not on that day but obviously later on in the month or whenever you do plan on creating videos and just so you're not you know um, doing everything in one go and you're just cutting things up and then doing the big things in one day so if you can do smaller tasks during your day job it will help you like massively so this is what i've started to do if i've ever got time on my hand i'll just quickly write like a script that i want to make a video on and then yeah when i come home obviously i will look through everything that i did take down and yeah just fix up anything that i need to and then i will start recording so those were the main things that i took away from that video i'll leave a link to that video down below so you guys can check it out yourself and you guys can take your own lessons but yeah this video like helped me massively because working a full-time job and trying to do youtube for business or just trying to build your personal brand is very difficult so yeah i hope you guys you know found this video valuable and leave a like subscribe and leave a comment and i'll catch you guys in the next video